Hey guys, this Myth Week, there's an opportunity to win prizes. Yeah, but not just one of you guys to win, but three. We have three bundle prizes. And here's what you could win. The Myth Game, 10 card sleeve packs, a clear brigand for whenever that little rat guy goes into the shadows, a trickster pack, which has two models and the cards, and a Twilight Knight pack with a single model and the cards. In order to win, all you have to do is comment on this video here on YouTube or on beastofboard.com or the corresponding post over on the Facebook page. Or you can do all three and triple your chances. Really? That easy, huh? That easy. At the end of the week, we'll be picking the three winners and you guys will get awesome myth bundles. and girls. Today I'm going to paint one of the uh, game pieces from the game Myth. Uh, you remember Myth. Uh, you remember that uh, lovely, I think it was a Kickstarter. Um, look at that. That's uh, one of the main heroes. Uh, the proportions aren't exactly right. The uh, arms are a little spindly, as you can see. There are mold lines here and there that I couldn't really remove. But as a game piece, it's really awesome. Um, and I'm going to teach you... I, I've primed it white somewhat. And I'm going to try to uh, beautify it by painting the hell out of it. I really like the pose of this one. And... Yeah, I think... yeah. I think I'll paint him as a, a ginger. I don't know if ginger is the uh, derogatory term for redheads. I, uh, I have heard that redheads are uh, discriminated against in the, U in the UK and uh, sometimes in the United States and most Anglo-Saxon countries actually. Um, although it's not quite as bad as, uh, as all that outside of um, of Britain, I think. Um, <clears throat> I, um, for, I for, for the life of me, I can't figure out why. Um, oh well. I mean, we certainly don't have that in France. Except in South Park. Aired that episode about the gingers. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I have plenty of friends who are, who, who happen to be redheads. Never paid much attention to it, really. It's their hair. As for my own hair, well, they're pretty much absent now, so... <coughs> Let's see. We'll start with the face, the little bit of flat flesh from the Flames of War range. I've wanted to try this one out for, for, a, for a while. I always try to to deal with the flesh tones of the miniature first. I'm painting miniatures as if they were getting dressed. Flesh first, then uh, clothes, then armor on top of that, etc. Nice little wash of that flesh tone. with my number one brush. You know, it looks a little like Benedict Cumberbatch. Let's grab a, let's grab a slightly finer brush and do more of that flesh tone. Yes, it's a nice flesh tone. I, I like it. It's, uh, it's reasonably good. It's very basic. Works like a charm. Let's do one of his spindly arms. And the other. Now I think we'll have to do... Now we'll do the hair later. 
we'll have to do his shirt. Shirt and gloves, I think. Base code for the shirt will be Scrofulous Brown from the game color range from Vallejo. And his hair will probably be the same. This is not going to be extremely detailed, but I will paint it to the best of my uh, of my abilities as as well as I can, considering the quality of the material. It is a fun miniature to paint. It is a uh, very cartoony character. I really love it. And uh, to be gaming with it will be, I think, quite excellent. He doesn't really look like the professional hero, as my dear Justin pointed out earlier to me. He's really just uh, playing it by ear, probably. I'll do the boot in orange, uh, in the same orange tone as well. Uh, his pants will be, I think, red, but with red leather. He's an adventurer, presumably, so leather it is. This is red leather. I think the red leather will also do a nice little wash for the flesh tone. His flesh has been tanned by the sunlight there we go better I would surmise it's also a good shade for the orange, but maybe not now. Just have a, a little bit of red leather on the pants. Of course now it looks like crap, but this is just the first coat. While the coat dries, we will, however, do the, the rest of the leathers in what, uh, what they call uh, the, the green-grey from the Flames of War range. I like that, uh, that colour because it's a little more subdued and it's also a little more green so it goes, it goes great against the orange and all that. <laughs> 